there's a time for war and there's a time for peace. I was I was in the military and I went to war. Lord, Lord willing, I didn't have to pull the trigger. But there are some people, some of my comrades that had to. It's justifiable. You're in a wartime environment. What happens in war? People die. People get killed. I'm sure there's some people out there that are just trying to kill folks now. God knows their heart, but he knows some people that are just trying to get back home to their families. And God understands. God understands. You know, what pisses me off the most about the military, people in regards to the military, they're like, they hate it. Well, I've been in the military. Ain't nothing you can tell me if you ain't been in there. That's wrong. That's wrong. Let me tell you something. If somebody wasn't fighting them wars for you, you would have to do it. You understand? I was watching the, how they treated a lot of soldiers from Vietnam and different areas. Baby killers, child killers, this and that. Well, if you've been to Iraq, you'll know they'll scrap a bomb to a 10-year-old to blow you to smithereens. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You understand? I hate people that down military people. I ain't say I hate people. I hate that way. I hate that. That's ridiculous. I ain't never pulled a trigger. I ain't never went through training. And I hear protesting over something you know nothing about. What the Bible say? Judge not. So you won't be judged. Now that's improper judgment. If you've never been to war, how can you judge those that's been? Do you understand? Do you understand? That's what righteous judgment is. You might well keep your mouth shut. All of you. All of you. You don't know what you're talking about. You understand? I got comrades in the grave right now. Why? It was war. Why? We signed up for this. It happened. So be it. We know when we sign up on that, 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 that line that our butt but how it belonged to Uncle Sam now. Well, let me tell you something else. Once you do that Holy Spirit contract with the Lord, your butt belongs to the Lord now. And you got to act, act accordingly. And you got to represent him. You see, one thing about the military was like, you are a direct representation of the Marine Corps now. Your actions, everything you do, falls back on the core. And I understand it now. At first, I didn't understand it. But I understand it now. You're a part of an elite group. United States Marine Corps. <laughs> For all y'all Army cats and Navy and Air Force people out there. You understand? You wear this with honor. So guess what? As a follower of Christ, you wear your cross with honor. You respect the Lord. You do it right in his eyes because you got a direct representation of Christ. Am I saying you're going to be just like Christ? No, you're going to be Christ-like. And you can't live for the world and live, and live for Christ at the same time. Because they're going to start knowing you by your fruits. They're going to start knowing me by my fruits when I start doing things contrary to the word I speak. You understand? Open your eyes, people. Wisdom is justified. Wisdom is known of his people. You understand? I'm very careful to judge. But I know I have to. Oh, man, that sounds hypocritical, don't it? No, it's not. I have to. I have to make judgment calls. You have to, too. You understand? Your boss got to make judgment calls. I bet you ain't walking around telling your boss, you can't judge me. When he told you to do something, you didn't do it. I don't want to hear that. You can't judge me, jump. You understand? You're going to be judged every day of your life. That's why God tell you certain ways to walk and certain ways to talk and certain ways to act. So you have to worry about falling with the wicked. You understand? You don't worry about being destroyed with the wicked. Because you're going to fight the good fight with the righteous. Does that mean some righteous people will not die? Yes, they will. Does that mean evil people will not die? No, they will too. One thing about death, it comes for us all, one way or the other. One way or the other. But the thing is, how you live determines where you wake up. That's what being a follower of Christ is about. Determining how you're going to wake. When, you, when God finally puts you to sleep, and put you to rest. What you wake up to, gonna go off all your actions. Yes, who the son says free is free indeed. The only way you can <coughs> inherit the kingdom of heaven 
It's through Christ. But it's a little more to it than that. Every man will be judged by their works. He said he got a book that a book of a life. He got a book that shows everything you've done. Good and bad. Everything will be brought into judgment. You understand? You better hope your balance is right. Better hope you live the life pleasing to God. Houston Beard, you better hope you live the life pleasing to God. Because if not, you're not going to make it there. You're going to be appointed yourself. Appointed your judgment in the lake of fire. The Bible says hypocrites will have that portion of the lake of fire with the wicked and with the evil. You can't be a hypocrite as a Christian. You understand? You can't. Lord, Lord. Let me pause and I will continue.